This is a 212 cc overhead valve single cylinder engine. Uh, it's made in China and it's very similar to the Honda GX engine. Uh, it's very similar to the Honda GX 160 which is uh, used in the, in the Rokon uh, Ranger motorcycle. And it's also very similar to the Kohler Command engine that's used in the Rokon Trailbreaker motorcycle and the Scout motorcycle. Rokon motorcycles are 2x2 two two, uh, type vehicles and what I mean by that is the engine on the motorcycle sends power to the rear wheel and the front wheel. Um, before 1994 all Rokon motorcycles were powered by two stroke engines but after 1994 I think because of uh, EPA restrictions they switched over to a, a four stroke engine so now all the Rokons sold are uh, either powered by the uh, Kohler Command engine or the Honda GX 160. Um, oftentimes on YouTube I'll see videos of people taking their Rokon motorcycle and um, climbing up the side of a wall or climbing up the side of a tree and what I mean by that is they'll 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 take the front wheel and they'll press it against the tree or the wall and they'll give it gas and the, the front wheel will, will climb up the, the tree or wall and it will leave the bike in a straight up and down position with the uh, front wheel directly over the rear wheel and that's not a problem if the if the Rokon is a pre-1994 model and it's running a two-stroke engine but if it's got a four-stroke engine uh, it's a problem because of the way the lubrication system works on works on these engines the engines used the four-stroke engine used used on the newer Rokons uh, are the uh, Honda GX 160 and the Kohler Command engine and both engines use a splash type lubrication system what I mean by splash type is there's no oil pump and there's no um, uh, there's no oil pressure. It's just a, a reservoir of oil inside the engine that gets splashed around to lubricate the engine. And I'll show you what I mean by that. Uh, I'll take this side cover off here the, on the crankcase. This is the inside of the engine, and if I had this, uh, if this was full of oil. It holds about a half a quart of oil. Um, the oil level would be about right here. And the way that a splash oil system works is um, there's usually a piece either attached to the rod end cap bolt or it's part of the rod end cap like it is here. Um, this piece right here is called an oil dipper and every time the crankshaft rotates it, it dips down into the oil and splashes oil around to lubricate the engine. Um, I'll show you how that, you see it rotate there. This system works good as long as there's plenty of oil in here and um, this dipper can, can make contact and reach down and flip the oil around. But uh, what happens when, when you have a Rokon that's, uh, like I said, climbed up a wall or, or a tree and it's standing straight up and down is um, that it changes the orientation of this engine. Um, this is how the engine would sit in the bike if the bike is level and the um, rear of the motorcycle would be in that direction and the front would be in this direction. Um, so uh, when, you, when you're standing straight up and down it's going to turn this uh, 90 degrees this way and it's going gonna, it's gonna to completely change how the oil sets in this engine. When the uh, Rokon motorcycle is in a straight up and down position um, this is how the engine would be oriented and what's, what's occurring here is the oil level would now have shifted to this side of the engine and uh, basically what you've done is create a condition where this oil dipper can no longer make contact with the oil and lubricate the engine the way it was designed to. Uh, and I'll show you when I rotate the uh, crankshaft, you see that the dipper can no longer make contact with oil because the, the oil is not in the correct position. I think Rokon recommends that you never exceed a 60 degree incline um, with their bikes and this is the reason why. Also with these uh, splash type lubrication systems there's no oil filter so there's no way to get rid of the contaminants in the engine oil except by changing the oil. So it's real important to change the oil on a regular basis and not wait too much, wait too much, wait too long between oil changes. Um, also because this, this system is kind of dependent on the level of the oil and this dipper making good contact with the oil, uh, you should always check the oil level and make sure it's at the proper height before you run the engine. So anyway, that's how a uh, splash type lubrication system works and why you shouldn't uh, stand your uh, Rokon, four stroke Rokon straight up and down. Hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.